Peggy 16. Welcome to the dungeon, the long-awaited new faction for Shades of Darkness, the standalone expansion of Might and Magic Hero 6. Since Heroes 1, the dungeon has been on the top of our fan wish list. In the world of Ashan, which is the common setting between Heroes 5 and Heroes 6, it has been associated with the shadow-tainted Dark Elves, underground-dwelling renegades, who have fled the Elf Forest and embraced the powers of darkness. The Dark Elves were born during a night filled with betrayal. That began when the High King of the Elves, Arniel, stood aside as the Holy Empire invaded Queen Twidena's lands. In desperation and anger, Twidena turned to Malasa, the Dragon Goddess of Darkness, and her minions, the mysterious Faceless. The mother of trees, Brithiga, sacred to the Elves and home of the royal dwelling, was treacherously burned to the ground, leaving nothing but a black scar on scorched earth where nothing would ever grow again. The Dark Elves were blamed for this heinous crime. Their faceless allies led them into exile, below the earth, away from the light. Their clan grew weak, decadent, torn by internal strife. Today, they slowly wither away while waiting with little hope for a new leader to rise. Raylag, Twidana's first heir, must unite his weary people. In Heroes 5, Raylag is already established as an unquestioned leader of a powerful and proud nation. But that's centuries later. Now in Heroes 6, and particularly in Shades of Darkness, he is a young prince who has yet to accept his imposing destiny. Raylag's purpose in Shades of Darkness is to find a home that the Dark Elves can call their own. To achieve this goal, Rylag must follow the dual path of secrets and shadows and forge an alliance with the almighty Black Dragons. Under Rylag's leadership, the Dark Elves will truly become the masters of assassination, stealth, and deception. Dark Elves prefer to strike under cover of darkness. They're experts in hiding their true location. This is both an offensive and a defensive tool that is crucial for tactical positioning and movements. They prefer to strike their foes unaware and isolated, and are absolutely lethal in such situations. They are also masters in the art of confusing the enemy with various illusions and mind control abilities. When forced to fight in the open, the Dark Elves deploy armies of mixed creatures. The main body of their infantry consists of beasts from the darkness and minotaurs. Elite troops are assassins and stalkers, armored in soft leather and light scale mail, and armed with deadly daggers and check rounds. If you like troops that can backstab and deliver lethal amounts of damage to the unsuspecting, then the Dark Elves are truly your cup of mushroom tea. <laughs>